Hello reformers and welcome back to a Clash of Kings 3.0. Now, as you can see here, I have finally made it in to the keep of where is it now? Rios. Yes, that's it. Ah, fantastic. Good, good work. Good work, me. I remembered the name of the place that we're trying to, you know, actually capture. Anyway, point is, I've been doing a lot of damage with my pole hammer right now. And I've killed a lot of units. And I'm actually really surprised by that because there were so many guardsmen. So many guardsmen. And it was very, very annoying. But, as you can see here, we now have only, I think, glaive men to deal with. And these glaive men, they're not particularly good. As you can see, they're actually... What are they... Right. Okay. Uh, they actually just were, were just like, Oh, yes, yeah, so let me go all the way back there into the gate and do nothing. Yeah, it seems like they wanted to do nothing there for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's okay. Because now we're going to get absolutely murdered by them. Yes. It's absolutely fine that we're going to get murdered by them now. Ugh. How irritating is that? That's very irritating, isn't it? Well, anyway, as you can see, we're eliminating so many, so many with my pole hammer right now. I really, really love this weapon, even though it is really slow. I haven't modified it, by the way. I did say that I was going to modify it slightly, just to give it a little bit more speed, because at the moment, uh, you know, it's pretty slow, but... I guess that's just how it is. That's how it's meant to be, and I didn't really want to change it because of that. But, you know, maybe at some point if I, you know, get bored with using it or something like that, I might decide to. But as it is right now, I don't really see the necessity. Obviously, I'm going to get killed now. So, don't worry about that. Yep, there you go. So, I did get killed, but that's okay, because I think there's only a couple left. I'm actually unsure how many. So, this is going to be a bit interesting. But as you see, there doesn't appear... To be any other guardsmen. We've been fighting everywhere. I was fighting over here, killed these guys, and then I went up here, and well, there were a, a couple up here. They've obviously disappeared by now because their corpses, well, their corpses don't stay around forever. Oh, there we go. There's a couple. But yeah, as you can see, the most grueling massacre actually happened down here, and hopefully. Oh, I can only hope that most of our units, in terms of Raven Tree Archers and Carhold Longbowmen, were not killed. If they were all killed, then we're going to have a really, really difficult time in defending this particular keep. Because, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know how it is, you know how it is. Because Tyrosh is going to come with probably 500, 600 units, maybe even more than that. And they're going to want their thief back. And if we're, if we're unable to defend against them, then we're in a really, really bad spot. Anyway, it seems like we may have achieved victory here. Yes, it appears we have. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. Absolutely amazed. I, I didn't know that that was going to happen. Because, literally, we came in from over here, as you can see. Well, these are the guys that just came out. But we lost a huge amount of units as I held my archers outside. I was hitting on the gate with my axe guards and things. Then, as soon as they breached the gate, all of the Axe Guards got killed by the huge amounts of Guardsmen in there. Because, obviously, they don't have shields, so it's very easy to, you know, kill them. And I was here, hiding in this corner, because my shield had been destroyed, and there were just so many Guardsmen in the battlements. Ouch, that really, really hurts. But, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to try our very best. Just going to get them to... I don't know, just going to have to get them, I guess. Just going to have to go back there and get them at some point. But as it stands, we can take a couple of these, not many. Uh, large bag of piercing arrows, that's actually really nice. I'm going to take some of those, but... Uh, yeah, it doesn't really make too much difference, does it? Alright, so I'm going to take this because it is a town, but obviously I'm going to defer appointment of a lord right now. Not going to plunder it because it might be mine. And, oh, we could, <laughs> we could actually join a tournament. Well, that's the thing. I would actually join the tournament right now if I wasn't literally on my last legs and almost dead. So we do have some Kaho Longbowmen, but our Raven Tree Archers, which are the better unit, have dwindled down to seven. So it's really not very good for them. Going to get Drollo a little bit more in Power Draw. Obviously, Fenna has also advanced in level. She's really good. So I guess we'll just start getting her some power strike. Mm, yeah, I, I, I was kind of debating whether to get her leadership, but I don't really see that as being a thing that we'll do. But 
Well, you never know. Maybe. I don't know. It depends. Okay, so what's actually... what's like, What is Berengar actually doing? Because... Uh, okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to rest here for some time. Because we need to do that anyway. But we're going to rest here for some time. A non-aggression treaty from Volantis. Accept that. Thank you very much. Give me some right to rule. I like it. I like that. All right. So, yes, that's good. But, yes, what I do need to find out is what... Berengar is doing, but he's still injured, which is very annoying. Uh, it seems like we are the engineer here. We are the engineer with surgery and all that sort of thing, so Berengar specking into that is utterly pointless. Ugh. Well, I guess we're going to find out what's going on there. Norvos has been besieged by Tyrosh. Of course they have. Of course they have. They are utterly... Ugh. They are very annoying, aren't they? Okay, so do I have any tactic skill? Do I have any tactic skill? I don't have any tactic skill, so I guess I'm just going to make him the tactician in the ranks, I guess. And we're just going to improve his tactic skill. Get him a little bit in power strike as well, because no doubt he's going to want to attack some things. Alright, so it seems like we will have to head back to Norvos, because that is currently under siege. Meli is patrolling around Norvos. So, she might do a good job in defending it, maybe? It depends what is actually going on there. Oh, what's this? You spot a poor man on the road, pay him gold, and he uh, suggest he join your army. Yes, there you go. He suddenly appears as a mighty warrior. Yes, exactly. So, he is a hedge knight. We just gained a hedge knight, literally. Mm, very nice. I like that. All right. So, yeah, that's good. And otherwise, hopefully, Melee will be able to defend slightly she has 154 now oh she's really good she's really good i like it okay so this is actually not even that bad if we can get in there and actually just restore ourselves a little bit we should be fine but let me just let me just wait a minute okay yeah yeah it seems like we will be fine most of our archers have recuperated themselves we do have 31 elite veil longbowmen so in theory they should be enough to, you know, help us. So let's just see what's going on here. They seem to be a little bit in two minds about what they're doing. And it seems like they've just left a vassal with 62. Ah, uh, that's weird. That's very weird, isn't it? And it seems like they're running away. I'm going to assume that they're going to go back to Rios and they're going to besiege that now, aren't they? They're probably going to do that, aren't they? Yes. I would assume that that is their plan. So, okay. Not entirely sure why you'd do something like that, because you might as well just stick it out and, you know, continue the siege at Norvos. I mean, obviously, I, I'm kind of a bit surprised that they decided to do it anyway, because there are 222 units in the garrison, as you can see. So, very strange. All right, oh, well, never mind. Let's go back to Rios. Because I have a feeling that they're probably going to try and take that. Okay, let's see. Anyone declaring war against us? No, it seems like no one is declaring war against us, so that's fantastic. And it seems like Norvos is declaring war. Oh, no, Elise is declaring war against someone. Oh, well, never mind. Seems like I don't really need to worry about them at all, do I? Okay, so, yes, we can just go to Rios. I have a feeling that they're probably going to be heading back here and deciding whether they want to take that. Do they? No, it seems not. Very strange. Okay, so we can recruit some Andar warriors from here. I'm probably going to do that just to supplement our army a little bit. And we're going to go into the arena. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. No, that is not what I wanted to do. I want to go into the tavern, thank you very much, because I'd like to find a ransom broker. Thank you. Sell all of these guys for 2,500. That's pretty nice. And this guy. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello there. It seems he is selling some unsullied. Oh, well. I'd very much like to hire him to take up residence. Maybe. Maybe I should just hire... <sighs> okay, so let's see. I'm just going to pay 5600 And that's the thing. I don't actually have enough money to be able to sustain him staying at my court. So it would be quite foolhardy of me to actually do that. So I'm probably not going to do that right now. But maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, let's just wait here for some time. See what's actually going on. 
and then we'll make a decision about where we go next if nothing is being besieged. No, it seems like they have... Uh, yeah, it seems like they've retreated, actually, because I think Lise has declared war against them, and Lise is, yeah, as you can see, currently embroiled in a war against Volantis, it seems. So there's Tyrosh. It's all by itself. Ah, I could go over here and actually take Marshwood Keep, because that is also Tyrosh. So why not? Let's go over there and see how many defenders they have. I have a feeling it's probably not going to be very good. Okay, so let's go inside, pray a tribute. Shall we? Yep, there you go. Gain some honor. That's nice. And, oh, very nice. Good amount of prisoners there. Do I want to fight those for those prisoners? Not really. Most of them are peasants, so it's not particularly good. But, yeah, maybe some of the units would be pretty useful. Oh well, as it stands, I think the most important thing for us right now is to take Marshwood Keep. And if they have... Okay, let's say the threshold. The threshold for me attacking this is about 200, I think. I don't really want to fight anything above 200. Oh. Uh, well, that might be a bit problematic. They do have 53 Tyroshi Guardsmen. Uh, yeah, well, we, we've done worse. We have done worse, and they do have some prisoners, but their prisoners are not very good, not very high quality or anything like that, so it, I don't know. It might be bad, but we're going to try it because you never know. Maybe the layout is going to be our saving grace, and maybe it's literally going to be one of those layouts that is insane for an archer-focused army. So we're going to try and do that. Right, okay, so, yeah, apparently, I've heard from some of you that you can get on the very side of this hill here. I have 69 archers, and you can get on the side of this hill. I'm going to hold fire, thank you very much. Yeah, but you can get on, the, on this hill over here, as far as I'm aware? I think so, at least. I could be wrong about this, but I think you can go over here, get all of your units on the top of it, and then they can shoot. Yeah, that one over there, I think it is. Isn't it that one over there? And then they can shoot inside and actually murder everything. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do that, but obviously we're taking a lot of damage along the way, but I suppose it's gonna be worth it in the end, isn't it? I hope it's gonna be worth it, because I'm currently being shot. I don't really like being shot, thank you very much. So I'm just gonna try and run a little bit quicker here. Okay, yes, please, uh, just uh, just stop shooting me, please. That's, uh, that's not very nice, is it? It's a little bit rude. A little bit rude of them. Ah, yes, a stumble. A stumble, of course. Okay, so, yes, this actually looks pretty good, but obviously we are losing quite a few of our units along the way. But does that matter? Does that matter? I don't know, really. I'm going to put my infantry over here. Actually, archers there and infantry down there, I think. There you go. Okay, so the archers will have a pretty decent line of sight. They won't have the best line of sight. But we're going to try this, because I've never actually tried this before. I've always gone into the courtyard, and I have a feeling that <laughs> with the Tairoshi Guardsmen, it would be an absolute travesty and a, a real, real possibility of a massacre. I don't think we would have a very good shot at doing that. So we're going to try this instead, and let's do it. Let's start firing away at them and let's see what we can do. We're actually going to kill quite a few by the looks of things because obviously we do have some pretty decent archers. I'm just hopeful that we'll continue killing them because obviously the range that we have, is the range any good? I mean, the thing is, is that we have, I don't know, do we have enough range to be able to shoot from all the way over here to all the way over there in the distance? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure about that, because we might be overstretching, you know what I mean? We might be overstretching our abilities. And we are, of course, also being shot by the enemy, because they do have an overwhelming amount of guardsmen, which is very annoying. I'd actually like to just kill all of their guardsmen if possible. Okay, so it seems like we've almost, well, basically just passed the amount that they've killed of ours. So, ugh. Quite frustrating. 
Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah, keep stumbling, Elias. Keep stumbling, you you imbecile. He's sometimes an imbecile, but sometimes he's amazing. So when he stumbles, I don't know. It's probably going to improve the morale of the men because they're laughing so much. But otherwise, yeah, that's it, really. Otherwise, we're just going to have to wait here and see what happens. I suppose, at the very least, if they're able to just eliminate most of the guardsmen then that would be a win in my book because as long as they you know as long as they don't have enough guardsmen to retaliate against us in future then we should have a really good shot at actually you know taking the thing but i'm really really surprised that this layout of castle is so prevalent i have no idea why this castle is appearing everywhere. This layout is absolutely everywhere. We fought two of these in Lorath, and I think there was another one just now as well. I think it was one of the Novoshi castles too, and then this one. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, because personally I'd much prefer to have some better castle diversity. I think that might be quite nice. But as it stands, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. It doesn't seem like we're going to get anything like that. So, yeah. It seems like we're just going to run out of arrows now. So, it seems like we've run out of arrows. It seems like our Raven Tree and Kaho Longbowmen are no longer shooting. We've killed 50 ones. But, you know, that's, that's a pretty decent margin, I suppose. We're going to just retreat here. I don't see the necessity to stay in there any further. And, as you can see, we basically killed 50% more than we have. So, I suppose that's okay. But how many more Guardsmen do they have? They have 27 more. So I suppose it's pretty good. We're able to eliminate a pretty decent amount of them. And so I think I'm going to be ending this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.